Hi, we're here on Pemba, a small island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of mainland Tanzania. We're here to help start a dairy farm that will produce milk, butter, ghee, and more for sale in the local market. Pemba's got incredible beaches, lush vegetation, hard workers, and smiling faces. But what Pemba doesn't have is enough dairy cows to meet the growing demand for milk in the marketplace. So how do you go about starting a dairy farm on a small island in the Indian Ocean? Easy. First, we start with seven entrepreneurs in the town of Shanjani, who will work together to manage the business. Meet Sada, Mohammed, Ngina, Batuli, Amina, Zulfa, and Ramadani. Add in Moli, one of the best veterinary doctors around, and a dash of 50-50 to help them get started. Hmm, this is all beginning to feel a bit too Brady Bunch. Like any business, starting a dairy farm takes lots of planning. Let's start with the cow shed. The animals need a place for shelter, eating, and sleeping, not to mention milk. First, you need some good land. Check. Then, you begin building the frame of the shed by placing posts around the perimeter. Muhammad has already done this, with precise handiwork to make sure the structure is strong. We'll pick up some nails to secure the posts. You also want to make sure that there is a water reservoir nearby, so the cows will have something to drink. Now, it's time to go shopping. For the foundation, you'll need concrete. That means cement, small stones, and some sand. We'll also need rebar for reinforcement. We load it all into the truck and bring it back to the work site. For the roof, we'll lay some small sticks across the frame of the structure. Then we'll cover it in makuti, or thatch made from the leaves of the coconut palm. All in all, we'll need over 300 pieces of makuti into the truck. It's tiring work, but rewarding. For the floor, we'll lay down some ground limestone so the animals can sleep comfortably on a soft surface. And let's not forget, utter butter. Now for the cows, a quick primer. On Pemba, the local variety of cattle are zebu, also known as Bos indicus. You can tell a zebu cow by the large hump on the back of its neck. They're great animals, but not so good for a dairy farm. Zebu cows only produce three or four liters of milk a day, which is just barely enough to suckle their calves. That means there's not much milk left over to sell at the market. When you picture a dairy cow, you're probably thinking of a different species of cattle, Bos taurus, which are much boxier in shape and don't have the telltale hump. They've been bred through the ages to maximize their milk production, and most produce between 16 and 24 liters of milk a day, or about five times what their cousins, the zebu, can produce. That makes them ideal for our dairy farm. In order to purchase dairy cows, we'll need to go to the mainland, near the city of Tanga. We'll be starting with four animals, two cows and two heifers. The next video is just around the corner, and you can join us as we pick out the first cows for Pemba Fresh Dairy Farm. In the meantime, why not head over to 5050.org to get involved, Choose an entrepreneur to support and learn more.